Hey, what's up YouTube? I get asked on my website quite a bit whether or not it is normal for a gasoline can to expand in the summer or to shrink in the winter. And I thought I'd just take a quick second to address that topic. So let's get to that next. So is it normal for your gas can to expand in the summer or shrink in the winter? The answer is 100% yes, that is normal. Uh, especially if your gas can is made like this uh, with the safety spouts like this. These have been made since 2009, since OSHA, the EPA, CARB, they've all put their regulations in place. And uh, basically they wanted the gas cans to emit less hydrocarbons to uh, protect the atmosphere. Also, it's a safety thing and uh, to make them a little more child proof as well. Now, why does a gasoline can uh, expand in the summer or shrink in the winter? Let's explain that and what you can do to prevent that. A gasoline can will expand in the summer or shrink in the winter based on how much vapor you have in the can itself. Now, if you keep your gas can filled up to the max fill line, say you have a five gallon gas can, you have the five gallons in there plus five ounces of seafoam, for example, for long-term storage, uh, your gas can will barely shrink and barely expand based on the uh, temperatures, no matter how hot it gets or cold it gets because there's not a lot of vapor in there. The can is mostly full uh, with liquid and the liquid's not going to expand. Now, if you use about half of that uh, quantity or even two thirds of it or whatnot, and you just have a little bit of gas sloshing around in the bottom and the rest of it is vapor, when it gets hot out, that vapor will expand and that will bulge out the sidewalls of your gas can. And if it gets cold, that vapor, all of the molecules floating around, they will constrict and get closer together and that will suck in the walls of the container. Now it will only expand or shrink if you have a proper seal. If you did not screw the collar on properly or uh, the rubber around the collar underneath with the spout, if that rubber is torn or flops over, sometimes it does that if you're not careful, um, you won't have a proper seal and you will notice that your gas can will just stay equalized with the pressure outside of the gas can. So it will neither shrink nor expand. So if you have a newer gas can made since 2009 with the safety features on it, and that's the only kind that you can buy these days, um, if you see that it is not expanding and not shrinking when you have less than half of the uh, gas can full of liquid, then you know you prob probably have an improper seal and you wanna uh, address that to keep your gas to store as long as possible. So if you see your gas can bulging out in the summer and it looks like it's gonna explode, is it safe to use that? Yes, it's absolutely safe. But you wanna keep in mind that the pressures of the vapor inside of your gas can are under high, high um, pressure. So if you um, just pull down on the spout, since that's what you have to do with a lot of safety features, if you pull down on the spout, um, if you're indoors, like in your garage, it will spray gasoline vapor and liquid about 10 feet. So you will get everything soaked. So you're gonna to wanna to do this outside if you bleed off the pressure first, or you can simply take your gas can, if it's bulging out, tip it over, put it in whatever you're planning on filling, the vapors will then float to the top and they will not exit down here, only liquid will exit. And then you just push up on the spout or pull the spout back in towards the gas can. It will fill um, whatever you're filling with liquid, the vapors will stay here on the top and you won't spray anything. And whatever you do, resist the temptation to vent out your gas by when you see it bulging or you basically toggle the safety switch and plunge this thing in to release all of that excess pressure. What you're actually doing is deteriorating your gasoline because you're allowing more oxygen to go in. Now when you have this gas can and you fill it with liquid, the area that is left over for the vapor, um, the light ends, the most combustible part of the gasoline, those will saturate that area and they'll just float around there doing their thing and you won't lose any more of those highly combustible light ends from your gasoline. That is what makes your gas um, efficient and effective. That's what you want are those light ends. You wanna keep as many of those in the gasoline as possible. And again, things like sea foam or um, stable, those can help keep your light ends in there. But you'll be left with the heavier ends, as they call them, in the gasoline as these ones uh, vent out. So if you vent out your gasoline, what you do is you release those light ends into the atmosphere, the hydrocarbons, and you allow new oxygen to go in. And what will happen is then the light ends that were still in liquid form will evaporate out and become new vapors and you will lose those from your gasoline. If you do this over and over and over again, you're just taking percentages of um, the efficacy of your gasoline out. So again, resist the urge to vent out your gasoline. 
Will a swollen gasoline can ever look normal again? Usually not. If it's bulged out quite a bit, it's gonna retain that shape for the most part. You can sort of bring back a gas can that has gone through a winter where it really shrunk in. You're gonna to need to fill it with about half gasoline, set it out um, on like concrete, something warm, some blacktop on a hot summer day. That will, the vapors inside will then expand and it will bulge out the sidewalls once again. And you should get a fairly normal looking gas can. But once the damage is done, either sucking in or having it bulge out, um, you're gonna kinda have a funky looking gas can. However, again, that's completely normal, completely safe. These are heavily regulated by EPA, CARB, OSHA to withstand those pressures. And if they couldn't, they would be fined out of existence. So don't worry about them shrinking or expanding. That is completely normal. The high density polyethylene also is a great insulator from outside temperatures for the gasoline, and it also is antibacterial as well. But when you see your gasoline can expanding, like it looks like it's gonna blow up in the summer or it looks extremely sucked in in the uh, winter, that is 100% normal, like I said, and what that indicates is that you have a perfect seal on your gasoline can because since 2009, since they've been made like this, the one thing gasoline cans, really the only thing they're great at is long-term storage of your gasoline now. Um, I've gotten gas to last in here if you properly treat it with something like seafoam. Um, you put one ounce of seafoam per gallon into the gas can and you can get gas to last up to two years easily. I've tested it myself and ran it through my small engines and my car as well. No problems whatsoever on performance. But in my opinion, that is the only thing these gas cans are good at, which is long-term storage. Everything else, they're just a pain in the butt. If you've tried to pour one of these, as much as they save uh, the environment from the hydrocarbon emissions, you end up spilling about a cup or two of gasoline every time you go to pour because um, you gotta finagle these. First thing you have to do is lift the weight. Now this is only a two uh, gallon gas can, but if you had a five gallon one, you wanted to pour it into your car, uh, you have to not only support the weight of all of those gallons of gasoline, you now have to, with one hand, try to toggle the safety feature and you got to jam this down into the car and then that puts stress on the rubber seal right here so gas starts leaking out of the collar and you end up spilling more gas on your shoes on the side of your car and on the pavement than you do saving the environment from a few hydrocarbon emissions. So since 2009, these gas cans made like this are allowed to emit 0.3 grams per day per gallon of hydrocarbons into the atmosphere, which is only like that much. But who am I kidding? I'm American. I have no frame of reference. I don't do uh, grams. So let's just say it's a lot less than the old cans that were not airtight with the spout and that had the vent on the back that most people, let's be honest, they just left it open anyways. So gasoline cans are made out of HD PE, which is high density polyethylene. Um, that's surface treated to withstand uh, solvents like this because if you put gasoline in regular plastic, um, it would eat right through it. Now the cool thing about the free market is that they will always come up with solutions. So you can still turn your new gas can into an old gas can with an aftermarket spout like this, which has no safety features, it simply pours out, and you can get one of these vents to put on the back. Now if your intent is to use your gasoline within one season, say you buy it in March and you plan on using it by the end of July just to use, say you have a lawn care business or whatnot, now that might not be a bad idea. I'm not saying to do it, I'm just saying it'll make pouring a lot easier, it'll be a lot less hassle, and uh, you won't be cursing as much on the side of the road. Now I don't advocate for the aftermarket solution of venting uh, the back and having a normal spout on the front. Um, in my opinion, I like, since my website is about power outage preparedness, I like to have a gas can that will keep gas long term for up to two years, like I said. I always rotate my gas after one year, but I have done tests with two year old gasoline, not an issue. So what I would recommend more than um, having one of the aftermarket spouts is to keep your gas in a two gallon or a five gallon container like this, um, treat it with sea foam, and then buy one of these for about $30 or so. You can get ones that take uh, uh, D cell batteries or double A's. And what you basically do is you take one of these pumps, you put this end down into the um, gasoline can. So when you are ready to pour, take this off, just expose the gasoline, dip this part in, and then the hose here, you'll feed that into whatever you're trying to fill and it simply has an on off switch at the end. Now with a five gallon um, gas can, you can empty that in about three minutes. The pump was good for getting all of the gasoline out with the exception of maybe about 
8 to 16 fluid ounces on the bottom, which at that time the gas can weighs hardly anything and it's easy enough to pour and use the safety feature without it putting any stress on the rubber seal around the collar there or doing anything else where you spill gasoline. I hope this answered your questions on uh, gasoline cans and expanding in the summer and shrinking in the winter. Uh, have a great day guys, take it easy.